what's going on everybody it's your boy and slarmstrong back again and today we're going to be talking about the roster update coming out tomorrow and giving our predictions about who's going to be getting upgraded and who can come in and get in some of those pre-order bids on so you can make a ton of subs if you don't know about the pre-order bids we have a link to our video from our last roster update where we go into detail about that but essentially what we're going through and doing is placing low bids low buy orders on cards that we think are going to get upgraded so whenever we put in a bunch of buy orders for 2500 subs on a gold card then they get upgraded to a diamond our buy orders for 2500 still stick around those get fulfilled then we can quick sell them for 5k make 2500 subs each that's easy profit we sound a little bit different in this episode it's because i've been essentially stuck in bed for the last 72 hours i don't know exactly what it was but i've been sick on my mind for like the last 72 hours had a fever but finally feeling better able to get around move around a little bit so you know we had to come in here get this video off for y'all talk about tomorrow's roster updates y'all can be sure to capitalize on that make some subs as always if you end up enjoying the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe let's go ahead and take a look at who we're looking at this week did it get upgraded and be the show 21 first guy we're looking at here craig kimbrell he's been absolutely dominant so far this season one of the biggest aspects that he has been dominant in is his walks for nine he's been really really limiting those last year he had a 7.04 walks for nine year before he had a 5.23 this year he's rocking a 2.76 walks for nine under his career average by quite a bit and that's more in line with when he was an absolute dominant best closer in baseball kind of pitcher so Craig Campbell looking really really solid I definitely see him getting back up to being a diamond as he's tapped into his youthfulness and somehow remembered how to be the elite dominant closer that we all remember him as he's been that pitcher so far this year and he's certainly going to be going diamond if he continues to pitch how he has been so far next guy we're looking at here i'm honestly really really surprised that he's not a diamond already there's honestly no reason for him not to be one it's zach wheeler he's just had dominant outing after dominant outing 11.05 k's per nine on the year where his career average is 8.8 6.72 k's per nine last year and he has 11.05 this year 68 k's per nine on the card definitely a lot of room to grow and move up there that was last start on tuesday wasn't the best and that could hurt him that could keep him from getting that upgrade he went three innings three runs six hits four strikeouts and a walk maybe that keeps him from getting upgraded i still think he's definitely deserving of being a diamond even when you consider his last outing was a little poor and he's priced essentially like a diamond right now in the market buy now 5k sell now 4400 now of course that's not a great price point to come in and invest in these cards but again we're looking at getting some pre-orders in for these guys so if we're coming on zach wheeler we're not placing an order at 4400 i may come in at like 3500 when he goes diamond of course that order will still be there and it'll get fulfilled and i can make however many stubs 5000 minus what i buy it for in stubs for every single order that i have so again not really a whole lot of margin to be made just coming in investing in zach wheeler but there is some margin if we're coming in getting those pre-orders in ahead of time and profiting off of that next guy we're looking at here is carlos correa he's on pace to probably have what will be the best season that he's had in his career so far because you think that he's only 26 he's putting together probably the best campaign he's had so far and he's had some really really good seasons already up in the big leagues the biggest area that he can get an upgrade is contact versus right is only a 60 but he's batting 287 versus righties this year so there is a lot of room for him to grow there in this contact versus right and being an 84 a slight bump to that is all he's gonna need he's uh one of the closer ones we have to a lock that we've had in some time in my opinion i don't see any way that Correa doesn't go diamond of course there's never any guarantees no one's ever 100 certain to be going diamond but I really really like Carlos Correa's chances he's been playing really well some of the best baseball of his career and he just needs a very very slight bump to his contact versus right to get that upgrade and he's been 287 versus righty so this year so he's definitely deserving of that upgrade there over what his 60 contact rating is now next guy we're looking at here marcus simeon and the last roster update he did get moved to second base honestly a lot of people thought that would be enough for him to get diamond i thought that would be enough for him to get diamond as well just moving him to second base unfortunately it didn't get him to diamond just got him to that 84 overall but he's still so very close to diamond 
and he's still playing really really well when you take a look obviously his splits versus lefties on his ratings are not as good but he's batting 286 versus lefties this year he actually has a higher average versus lefties than he does righties so far this season 286 versus lefties hitting the ball really really good versus lefties a couple home runs as well i definitely think obviously at an 84 he just needs that ever so slight bump to get up to that diamond tier and i think a little bump to his contact versus left would be all it'll take for simeon to move on up into that diamond tier hopefully he gets that bump this week i think it's one of those things where it's only a matter of time obviously we can never predict the roster changes to 100 accuracy as some weird things do go down but this one definitely seems like it's only a matter of time till he gets that bump and works his way up into the diamond tier now let's take a look at some silver to go guys we got to start one that's being priced in the market as the most obvious upgrade 1390 on the buy now 999 on the sell now uh if i had some cedric mullins honestly i would recommend selling at 1390 because even if he goes gold he's not going to be more valuable than that i do like him i like his chances to get upgrade he's been tearing the cover off the ball this year he needs some more upgrades to his power numbers overall being a 78 he doesn't need a whole lot to find his way up into that gold tier either he's been playing really really well a very popular player to be investing in right now i wouldn't invest in him at his current price but you can come in and get in some of those low orders again for someone like cedric mullins i think there's a lot of potential to make quite a bit of subs off of that next guy we're looking at here from the marlins is trevor rogers he's been one of the more surprising pitchers in the league so far this season been absolutely dominant for miami and a pitching staff that's become a pretty solid pitching staff overall really i can see him getting a pretty strong upgrade to his walks per nine only 55 on the walks per nine yet he's just walking to 2.91 batters per nine innings his era is really low he's not giving up a whole lot of hits not giving up many home runs either just a 0.42 on the home runs per nine so that can get a solid upgrade as well he had a 78 doesn't need a whole lot of a bump to get up into that gold range just a plus two overall will get him into gold range I think you can easily see a plus five, maybe even a plus 10 to both his walks per nine and his home runs per nine, which would be more than enough to get him up into that gold range as he already has pretty solid hits per nine and case per nine for a silver starting pitcher. He's just really liking that walks per nine home runs tonight and he's pitching pretty well in those aspects so far this season. Keeping it with Miami and that pitching staff that they've been rolling out there is Pablo Lopez another young pitcher on that marlins team that has been pitching really really well this season i like what i've seen of pablo lopez so far he's had a really really good campaign so far this season already up to a 79 overall just needs that little bit of bump to get into the gold range 59 on the case for nine he's striking out nine batters every nine innings like free just enough to get him that slight bump there on the case for nine get him up into that gold category could also get some smaller boosts as well but pretty much all of his categories his per nine walks for nine and home runs for nine he's been pitching really really well across the board so far this season for the marlins i like pablo lopez a lot i think he has a really good shot at getting upgraded this week now the next guy we're looking at here is mike yastrzemski the last one on our list he may be flying a little under the radar so far from what it seems like in terms of investments in terms of roster update predictions i like mike yastrzemski a lot though if you look at his year stats nothing really pops out of the pace but you look at what he's doing in june he's batting 286 with a 964 ops so far in the month of june so he's absolutely tearing the cover off the ball this month he may need to keep it up a little bit longer to really get a significant upgrade and get him up to that gold category but he's been playing so good to start this month that i could see him getting an upgrade into that gold tier with this roster update maybe he needs a little bit more still again could need a couple more weeks of playing hot to get that upgrade but i really like his chances and he's selling for a little bit less than others 661 on the sell now 725 on the buy now so a little bit more room to come in there and invest in someone like mike yashimski or getting some of those pre-orders in as he's someone whose market is uh, saturated with a ton of people coming in and putting in orders for investments so that is what i'm working with this week for the roster updates i'm sure i've missed somebody though so let me know down in the comment section below who do you have getting upgraded in this week's roster update my favorite part about these videos getting to chat with y'all seeing who y'all are mentioning what names y'all are throwing out there who i may be overlooking that's on your favorite team that's just absolutely crushing the ball or pitching lights out right now let me know down in the comment section below as always 
you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe until next time i'll catch y'all around